There was a time in my life when I knew where I was going. I'm not really sure how I ended up here. I guess somewhere along the way I made one too many wrong choices. Now I feel like I'm just idling, waiting for a green light that never comes. This is our last one for the day, right? Yeah, sure. Nobody's home, go away. Look, I just need a little bit more time. Hello, sir. Have you heard the good news? Have you heard the good news? You two need to get on your bikes and get the hell out of here. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have it tonight. No, I, I didn't win. Oh, man, I just need a little bit more time. What do you want? I left my satchel. Yeah. No, I told him that I was gonna look. Hello. Hello. I've never known anyone with a tattoo before. Can I see yours? Yeah, whatever. This place is amazing. Haha. Uh -huh. No, I'm serious. You know what this is? Yes, sir. Is that marijuana? Very good. Have you ever tried any? No, sir. Not me personally. My friend Sean said he had smoked one last summer, but I don't know if I believe him. Relax, it's just Hi. me. What? Oh, hide. Can I come in? Uh, no, it's not a really good time. Why? Is someone here? And no, nobody's here. Come on, what did you find out? I found out you're in some really serious trouble. Look, I've got half now, and if I could just win one more race, then I'll be in the clear. Is that all you bring to the table? It's always one more race, or one more deal, or one more con. You knew this was just a matter of time. I know. Is the coast clear? Good thing I was wearing my helmet. She was pretty. Is that your girlfriend? I've never had a girlfriend. How old are you? I just turned 16 today. Well, happy birthday to you. We don't really celebrate birthdays or Christmas or anything like that. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that you've never had a birthday before? No, sir. My parents are pretty strict. They don't even let me drink soda. I pretty much hate my life. Why do you have a racing tattoo? I grew up around the tracks. It's in my blood. You race cars? I do indeed. Oh my god. You are probably the coolest man on earth. Mm. Look, a boy's gotta have a birthday. If you could have anything that you wanted, even something that your parents didn't want you to have, what would it be? Really? Ink? Yes, sir. Like I tell you what, the guy who did this is a buddy of mine. He owes me a couple of favors, so why don't we go and get you a tattoo? a little bit of cash. Well, I want a big tattoo, and I've been saving this money for a long time. Why don't you save your money and get something small? No, I want a big tattoo. Suit yourself.
What's so bad about home? Your parents beat you or what? No, sir. They're good people. Every day is the same thing. You have an exciting life. You make your own decisions. My parents make mine for me. I can't wait to move out, be on my own, make my own decisions. Yeah, that was me a couple years ago. I know what you mean. <coughs> what the hell are you doing? You know what? This was a bad idea to go home. Why? You smoke this all the time. You have a great life. No, I do not have a great life. You've got a great place. You have a super hot girlfriend. It's not my girlfriend either. Look, I ran away when I was 17 because I hated the rules. And it was great, you know? For like a year, it was awesome. I lived on my own. I made my own rules. I didn't follow what anyone else told me. And after a while, eventually you start to, you start to make a lot of really bad choices. And pretty soon you run out of opportunities. It's just hard living in a house where everything is about God. I don't even know if I believe in God. Do you? My mom was a hospice nurse. And when I was little, sometimes she would get a phone call that one of her patients had died, cram us kids up in a car, and we'd drive out with her. One time, it was for a little kid. He was my age. And Ever since he died, he's been talking to me. So yeah. Yeah, I believe in God. But it also taught me that eventually we run out of second chances. I've done a lot of really bad things in my life and I know that I'm going to hell. But you, you're still young. So don't go down that road. All right, I really think that you should go. Well, thank you, sir, for a great first birthday. At some point, we all run out of options. You sell the kid now, Dad? Time's up. I've been headed down this path for so long that I always kind of imagined that this is how it would end. Do you have the money or not? No, I don't have the money. I told you I have half, but I can get it tomorrow. Just leave it out of it. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have some money. I never imagined I'd get another chance. Much less from an awkward kid on a bike. But I do know that if a second chance does come knocking at your door, You don't waste it.